Welcome. What we're going to do now is um, we're going to do an MSDN sign up for the Azure offer, 750 hours per month of compute. If you just work that out, there are 744 hours in a month, so you get a, a sort of a six hour buffer, a six hour um, way of, of going over the limit. Okay, so this is my blog. Um, you need to scroll down past the, the various parts of the blog until you get to um, this link, Windows Azure Platform MSDN Premium Offer. So let's click that link. And what you can see here is the, the details of the offer for MSDN Premium and MSDN Ultimate subscribers uh, and BizSpark, BizSpark customers as well. So 750 hours a month, uh, 10 gigs of storage, a million transactions, five service bus connections per month, um, a million access control transactions per month, three one gig web edition databases on SQL Azure, um, and then different data rates depending on whether you're in uh, Europe or North America or in Asia Pac. Okay, now in order to sign up for this deal, what do we do? Well, we go to this link over here which says sign up now. Now it's just taken me straight into the sign up. Um, that's because I've already signed in to uh, Windows Live. Okay, let's go to the Windows Azure platform. And what you can see now is um, the shopping cart for Microsoft Online Services. So the thing you need to make sure that it says is Windows Azure Platform MSDN Premium. Now it does say pay per use here. And that's the pay per use once you have gone over the 750 hours of free usage or one of the data plans or service bus or access control, etc. Um, so it's really important that this says Windows Azure Platform MSDN Premium. There are a number of other offers. If it says something else there, then you might not be getting the free hours. Okay, you can check this by clicking the rate plan. Let's maximize this window. And you can see it says exactly the same as the previous thing, 750 hours, 10 gigs of storage, a million transactions, three web edition databases, and so on. Now, if you go over any of these limits, then this is what starts to apply. One other thing to notice is a small compute instance. So over here, you'll, you'll get, you, if you go over, then you'll be paying 0 0.0691 uh, per hour. The, the reason for these strange figures in pounds is because they equate using the exchange rate to dollars, uh, US dollars. Um, you can also buy medium, large, and extra large instances, and obviously the prices change. But as soon as you go over any of these, then these are the rates that start to apply. That's important to realize. Read the blog post to understand when it is that you've gone over your 750 hours. And remember, it's when you have a VM instance that's deployed not whether your code is running or not and the blog article describes that okay so if we want to sign up for this then we check the um, we, we acknowledge that we are purchasing a service and we will be prompted for our credit card information because if we go over that service then rather than doing just stopping the service from running what they'll do is they'll just add the uh, cost of that service to a credit card bill which comes at the end of every month Okay, I go to the checkout. You can see with this particular case, I have an existing credit card already registered, so I'll click existing credit card. Um, now the reason that this is all blurred for you is because there's a little tiny bit of information on this screen that I don't want you to see because it's personal, it's, my, it's some of my credit card information. But uh, I think you get the idea from the general feel of what's happening on the screen. I'm going to click the next button. Okay, now this is asking about my um, credit card information, and again, the reason the screen is blurred is because I don't want you to see the um, sensitive information that's on the screen right now, but it's all correct. It's got my credit card information and billing information. I'm going to click Next. Oh, there's a card verification number required. I didn't put my card verification number in there. I'm going to click Next.
Okay, I'm now presented with this screen, which is my agreement. It's asking me to type into this the full name as exactly as it appears. That means this is a little bit like signing a piece of paper. It's like a signature. And my title is Mr. So I put Steve Plank and Mr. And then click I accept. Whoops, the one thing I didn't do was click the uh, I accept the agreement uh, checkbox. Now I click I accept. Okay, and again, the reason that the screen is um, blanked out, is, is blurred, sorry, is because there's some um, information in here which is sensitive, but it's just um, uh, billing information and uh, credit card information. So I agree with all of this. I'm going to confirm this order. And I've got an order confirmation number up here. I've um, got my email address. Um, it says I, I may get um, an email from MS Online Services team at MicrosoftOnline.com. Um, it's asking me to add them to my safe senders list on my email client. So I'm now going to activate. Okay, so when we go to the um, Windows Azure portal, you'll see that each subscription that you have comes up as a project name. So I'm going to call this one um, MSDN 750 hours um, offer and click next. Okay, again I've made the screen blurred because this is uh, asking me for who I want to be the service administrator and um, it's got personal information on there again so I'm just keeping that blurred so that it's uh, so that you don't get access to that sensitive information um, but it's basically me it's information about me so I'm going to click next and then again I've had to blur out this um, summary information just because um, again it's it's um, it's sensitive information but it's just a summary of uh, me and the service administrator, the account owner and the service administrator, and what the offer is, MSDN 750 hours offer. Okay, I'm now going to uh, click Finish. And that's now confirmed. So I can now close this down. And that's me done. So you can now see I've got an MSDN 750 hours offer. I've got the Azure 25 hour intro offer and I've also previously signed up for um, the BPOS um, the BPOS thing and have 20 licenses for that. Okay, what I'm going to do now is uh, open a new tab and go to the portal which is windows.azure.com so this is the management portal because I'm already logged into Windows Live, we should see my projects. Now we can see at the moment there's the Azure 25 hour intro offer and the original PDC um, community technology preview which has expired now. Um, if I just wait for a few minutes then we'll see the offer that I just signed up for, the MSDN 750 hour offer. The name I gave it was the MSDN 750 hour offer and that's what's going to appear under this project name that that will appear. So we'll just give it a little bit of time to do that and then we'll click the refresh button. Try now. Okay, and you can see there the MSDN 750 hours offer. So that is my project. If I go into this project I can now, if I wanted to, create a new service. I won't do that because um, I want to do something with this a little bit later on, but that's what I could do if I wanted to do it. Okay, I hope you've en enjoyed this and I hope you are now uh, at, a, at a place where you understand what the billing is, understand how the charging is going to work, you understand when you'll be charged and you understand how you can get free hours to test out various bits of code that you might want to try. Thanks for listening and um, hope you enjoy it. Bye.